How's it going, Short Kings? We got a big game ahead of us this week against the 3-1 Western Arizona University Giraffes. We can see that they edge us out in pretty much every single category here, aside from total defense and rush defense. With all that said, Herb Street's still going to pick us to win. Their one loss of the season was to number two Oklahoma, where they got shut out. But other than that, good win against Pitt, good win against Gorge University, and a good win against the University of New Mexico. Before this game gets underway, we're going to have a little bit of recruiting that we need to take care of. Pretty much the only thing we're going to do with our points this week is give it to the two strong safeties. So we'll max out Caleb Jenkins and then give a few to Kenyon Dunn. And now with all the housekeeping done, we can go ahead and pick our uniforms, head into the mine. I think we're going to go with this uh, pretty alternate look today. They are a 84 overall school, but we're sitting down at 72. So hopefully the discrepancies aren't too bad and we can get the job done. We can see that their top players are in the high 80s overall. Benjamin Medley is their quarterback. Uh, Ethan Lyrer is their fullback. Those two are going to do some work. And they have two season injuries. Uh, Jake Slaughter, their quarterback, and their right tackles broken ankle and a torn Achilles that's rough as we load in if you're wondering how I know the names of these players for the giraffes already it's because we've been playing with them over on twitch it's uh twitch.tv slash 69 and uh to make it a little bit more difficult I did drop the sliders just a smidge I'm just gonna keep doing that until you know until we start losing games that we should be losing it is a packed crowd here at the mine. We got four players just chilling near midfield, apparently. And for the coin toss, the giraffes are going to do tails, and that was wise. They'll win it. I got a feeling we're going to start with the ball, and yeah, they're going to elect to kick. So just randomly choose a way to defend, make our adjustments, and then get out there. Nunez is back for the return. It would be huge if we could get good field position here gonna feel awfully weird I'm gonna say to play against the team that I've been uh, doing for six seasons on Twitch hopefully I don't get confused unfortunately this giraffes team that we're playing isn't the full height that they would be on Twitch six foot seven or taller but they still tower over our, our short Kings and we'll give it up to uh, Talib Noel on the first offensive play of the game and there's a dead spider behind me apparently thanks Clark for that free little gift read option here on second and six looks like Richie Kirk's gonna keep it and ooh, I wanted to slide down but we'll take the three yard carry third and the three we're gonna go with a short pass here I'm definitely gonna be getting outside the pocket with Kirk they're bringing pressure question is can I hit a man on the run we got Norton and Norton's gonna be across midfield 22 yards to the wide receiver our first play from across midfield. I'm going to try to take a shot downfield and see if maybe somebody can get open. And we're just hit as we're throwing. <laughs> Run a little option here to try to get positive yards on second down. Noel's going to keep it. He's got some blocks. The juke won't work, but he did a great job picking up seven yards there. Noel up the middle now. Did he get the first down? Wow. Good effort. Falling on top of the giraffe's defender. We're going to huck up a four verts here. See what uh, Richie can do. He finds Norton, who holds on to it. Stayed on his feet, broke a tackle, but then finally got taken down. Norton's got a two good catches there. See what Talib can do on first and goal. Ooh, going to cut that out. Can he get in? Oh, almost. Going to be down at the inch line. Maybe a millimeter. We're just going to try a QB sneak here. Second and goal. Richie Kirk. He's got to be real intimidated here. I know I am. Oh, no problem. Wow. He, uh, he's really got in there quick. Center got off the ball well. Going to be a quick touchdown for the Dwarves. Let's see if the defense can respond. Easy. Utah upsets number six UCLA. We're just going to kick this one off. Donnell Jolly. Uh, most of that one it'll be returnable really hope we can oh my gosh get a body on this guy I missed <laughs> and they're gonna be out past the 25 here comes Benjamin Medley true freshman after Jake Slaughter 
goes down with the uh, Achilles tear. Well, we'll see what we can do against this giraffe squad. Some guys open. Benjamin Medley's just going to take off. Oh, he shoved off Caps, broke a tackle, broke another one. Got 10 yards on that scramble. These uh, giraffes, I don't know who it is, but they are using a quarterback as a wide receiver. And ooh, Medley just missed that one. We got some solid players here. Getting nostalgic over the, the, the people I'm supposed to be defending against. Medley's going to try to take off again. He got the stiff arm cheese. We're lucky it was to the side. Brings up a third and eight. We can kind of expect this to be a pass. Kind of just watching the out routes. And oh, Ferris, I thought we, we had a, maybe a chance at a pick there. But Kingsley Manning's going to get the 11 yarder. First uh, pass completed for the dwarves there. We're gonna go back to pass again. And, oh, it's Garen Vincent just dropping that one. Shame. Can't say I expected this team to come out and pass as much as they have, but there's gonna be a carry. That's gonna go for nothing. RJ Huff just gets back to the line of scrimmage. Third and 10. We could definitely go to the air again. No, it's a draw. I took a bad angle on it. Thankfully, we have the speed to swarm Huff down and bring up the fourth. If we can continue like this, Kirk Herbstreet is going to be pretty impressed. Right away here, we're taking a shot downfield. Oh my gosh, the pressure came. I'm lucky to get rid of it. I barely noticed that, but Richie Kirk was about to get sacked on that one. It's awfully hard to take a shot downfield when your quarterback has about half a second in the pocket. Going with the screen on second and 10. Noel, ah, that'll work. He almost tackled himself. It looked like running into his blocker. We got five yards. Try a play action here on third and five. And gosh, I'm not really sure how that pass was so inaccurate, but we were pressured immediately again. We're going to have to punt this one away. We got the wind at our back. Let's see if we can't get some good hang time there and, and get the uh, gunners down. It will be returnable. And they do a pretty good job. 15 yards there. First and 10 for the Giraffes. That's going to be a run. Oh, I blew it up in the backfield. But it wasn't enough. RJ Huff just shoved me away. Thankfully, he was slowed down and the rest of the Dwarves could swarm to him. I don't think we're going to need to blitz at this rate. Second and nine. An interesting move there. And Caps and company are there. Garen Vincent. Holds on to that one. He dropped the last one that went to him. That'll be the end of the first quarter. Up 7-0. We're going to come out at the start of the second. Run a little bit of man. Could get beat pretty easily on this. They go with the out route. It doesn't matter. It's Nehemiah Bobo for 7 yards. One of the greatest names in college football right now. Well, screw that little man defense experiment. They're going to go 5 wide. We're going to go back into the zone. And that's a screen. They hit uh, Eddie Vandermeulen for nine yards. That was good blocking. We're going to blitz here. Just changed my mind. Second and one. This is definitely going to RJ Huff. Question is, can we blow it up? Yes, this is the answer. He lost three. It'll be third and five now. Stadium is absolutely packed for this one, and they need to be loud for us. Medley's going to take off. Oh, he just trucked the first guy he came in contact with. Ran away from Caps, and he got 24 yards. Benjamin Medley, he's playing incredible. It's going to be a first down inside the red zone. Not feeling too confident right now. No draw what, what I was, as I was expecting. <laughs> and Medley just threw it away. Yeah, we got, <laughs> they got 69 total yards. <laughs> too good, too good. So there, I didn't know who to cover there. There was so many guys in that zone. They'll hit Kingsley Manning for 13, and it's a first and goal inside the five. I think it's time for another blitz. Most likely going to Huff. Question is, can we sneak through everything? No, it, it's going to be a pass. Thankfully, he threw it away. Second and goal. We're going to bring that pressure again. I'm guessing it's a run up the middle. They're going to be right. Can I jump the snap? No, I won't. They're going toward. No, they're going to pass. It was a play action. Beautiful play call, and they'll hit the fullback, Ethan Lyrer, for the touchdown. 
We're all tied up here. I guess that's assuming that they hit this. No problem on the extra point. Well, hopefully Nunez can get us going. He, oh man, definitely not taking that one. Take the touchback instead. Play action on first and 10. This is a risky throw, but we're gonna hit Donnie Schaefer near midfield. Quick 21 yards there. Why not keep lobbing with passes? We're gonna go with the four verts. And oh, hitters were thrown. That was probably gonna be picked, so maybe uh, maybe best case scenario. Get outside the pocket here. Heave one downfield for Norton. Ooh, good play from Lewis Berg to get up there and deflect it away. Third and 10 now. We're gonna get a little cheesy here looking at Donnie Schaefer. It's the easiest route to hit, except I threw it late. I'm not used to having these fast players. Thankfully, Donnie's able to stay in bounds. We're gonna call this screen here for Noel. Just need to get some nice blocks and maybe get it outside. Nice job to leave. Surprised he wasn't able to outrun those guys. Taking another shot here on first down. And oh, oh, I thought that was picked. AJ Norton, I had to use him to get him in position. But we're able to get our mitts on it. Look at this. I threw that to the left in the safety. He thought he had an easy interception. Caught a bit of a break there, so I'm just going to run it. And oh, didn't catch a break on that one. Loss of two. If they're not going to be nice to me, I'm going to run the read option. The well will keep that one, and he's going to get those yards back. Third and four, and I'm expecting a touchdown pass to Tlaib Noel. He's open. Ooh, pass was thrown behind him. That's going to be fourth and inches. You better believe we're going for it. Richie Kirk already had a successful QB sneak in this game. Let's see if he can get another one. Ooh, just barely. I didn't think he had it, but they're going to call it a first and goal. We're going to see what these dwarves and drabs are made of. First and goal, it's a run. Noel's going to lose yardage. We might have to pass here or maybe just run towards the edge. They definitely seemed ready for us on that last play. So we're going to pitch it outside. Noel picked up a block. Oh my gosh. Even with the back juke spin, this Western Arizona team is quick. Going to have to go to the air on third and goal. We've lost six yards basically. And just getting outside the pocket. I don't really know where to go. We kind of had guys open, but Richie just missed them. So it'll be fourth and goal. And this is a tough decision. Well, we're going to go for the field goal. Psych, Chip Breedlove. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh, it was a good attempt, Chip. Uh, you just missed everything. Oh, man, that's a bummer. Well, hopefully the defense can get us something going here. First and 10. Kind of working as a spy. And Benjamin, oh, you cannot drop that. That would have been an absolutely huge interception we can't come up with it though and instead it'll be second and ten i was expecting a draw there to be honest at least just gonna throw that one away he's feeling some pressure but i don't know if it's actually there i'm gonna use the defensive end here to see if i can blow this play up third and ten. Oh man medley's gonna be running for the edge he did not get the first down we'll take a timeout 38 seconds left in the half i don't expect it to ever work but we're gonna bring the pump block Maybe that was as close as we could hope. 34 seconds. Nunez. We're going to try to reverse the field here. Can we get the pump block? No penalties, please. No penalties. G. Nunez stiff arming his way. He's at the one or the two yard line. Couldn't quite get it to the house. The punter saves it. Oh, well, we're at the about the one and a half. And the only way that we've managed to have success moving the ball in these tight yarded situations is the QB sneak. So. We're going to give it to Richie Kirk and just try to let him get it a couple times. Oh, he stumbled backwards. They count that as a loss of two. No forward progress. That's a joke. I'm going to have to go in the hurry up here. Try to get something going. Let's get outside the pocket. There's our man. They made me really work for that one. Sonny Overstreet, the tight end, gets the touchdown. Nine seconds left in the half. 
There we go, 14-7. Let's hope they don't return this for a touchdown. Decent kick, actually pretty short. We're gonna easily have a, a chance to return it. Hopefully we get the tackle. Five seconds left in the half. No Hail Marys allowed, please. We're gonna go with the prevent. It doesn't look like they're gonna throw anything crazy, but you never know. And triple zeros on the clock as we get the tackle. Sure, he got 11 yards, but it doesn't really matter. At the half, up 14-7. See some highlights of that first half. Man, I, I really thought that was going to go for it. Say Richie Kirk touchdown run. A ridiculous Benjamin Medley run. There's Ethan Liver. The, uh, nice play action for a touchdown. <laughs> I think that was the, maybe the failed, uh, you know, go for it on the field goal. Good return, and then the touchdown at the end of the half. Oh, we got the wind at our back for the start of the third here. Can we get down here? Eh, that's decent coverage. We gave up 104 yards of offense that first half. They're going to come out five wide immediately. And I'm going to, I'm just going to be using this defensive end a little bit to see if we can get some pressure on Medley. We do have a spy, and he does get sacked. So only negative one yards allowed to start this half. Second and 11, wouldn't be surprised if they put it on the ground. And that's a draw if I've ever seen one. They're gonna lose two more, third and 13. Can we get the stop? It's gonna be a pass. Plenty of guys open. I'm sure Medley will take off eventually. What are you doing, Lester? Oh my gosh, he broke two tackles. He broke a third tackle. On third, 13, the Giraffes and Waylon Rooney are going to go 80 yards for the touchdown. Are you kidding me? What a bomb. And it's supposedly a new NCAA record for the longest pass, but we all know that those are usually pretty incorrect. Three broken tackles is just a disappointment. So that's good. and It'll be a tie ball game. All right, Nunez, you haven't had a really good return yet. Let's see some blocks. Let's put this into the end zone. I don't even want the offense to have to take the field. Ah, well, I guess I won't get my wish. Read option to start this one. Richie Kirk will keep it. He's got a nice little block, and he just slide tackled the safety. Nine yards there. As you should be getting used to by now, we're going to heave up a bomb. Maybe. We'll just give it... Trying to give it to Norton for the first down, but he couldn't hold on through the contact. 50% on third down so far. Gonna roll outside the pocket here, and let's just scramble with Richie. Why not? Don't have to worry about incompletions if you don't throw the ball. Play action, deep ball on this first down. They're bringing all sorts of pressure. I got it up. It's going to be picked off. Norton couldn't get up for it. And that's the problem with playing taller defenders. We might be in trouble now. Hoping that we can lean on the defense in this situation. Going to see Medley scramble again. You know, the more he scrambles, the more at risk he is for a fumble. Alrighty, I'm done with it. We're going to we're gonna get pressure on this uh, quarterback on our own. Maybe. Oh no. Big tackles. That was maybe a touchdown saving one. They're almost a midfield. Be a real shame if we lost this game to our rivals. Got to get some pressure here. No draw. Quarterback all the time in the world. And Marks, that should have been an interception. Thankfully, it's only a three-yard grab. But that was a pick six if I've ever seen one. Second and seven now. It's going to be a run. It's a play action. And a wide open Rooney. But he stepped out of bounds. Didn't get the toes down. Unfortunately for Western Arizona, that brings up a third and long. We could have a chance here. It'll be a draw. We're there with Wilcox immediately to just drag him down. They're going to punt this one away on fourth and six, and I'm going to expect it to be a touchback. And it could have been returned. You know what? Uh, if I could have easily gotten under it, I would have taken it, but I'm not going to mind. 
Getting the ball at the 20. See what we can get going on offense this time. Noel, ooh, shaking off a tackler, getting seven yards. It's a great start to the drive. Kind of near in the end of the third. This has been a low scoring game. I'm gonna put Norton on the go route because it looks like they're bringing pressure. They will. And they, wow, I fumbled. It's a strip sack and they're gonna recover. We had a guy coming wide open. I think it was Khalif James. And right as I went back to pass, they hit me. Again, no, no protection in the pocket. And now the giraffes are set up for at least an easy field goal, I would imagine. Wide open, they find Huff, only for two yards. We've got a, a couple of turnover disasters at this point. Maybe we can get a, a pick of our own. That's not going to be it. We will knock him down. Third and five. Can we get the stop? Can we force the field goal and really try to stay in this game? It'll be a pass. Decent pressure. Medley's going to take off, and he slid down. Wasn't enough to get the first, so fourth and two. Assuming we'll see the field goal unit come out. If we're lucky, he'll miss it, but it's basically just an extra point. Trying to time this properly, and nothing doing. Down three now, 55 seconds left in the third. Maybe we can get something out of Nunez today. Oh, that's gonna work. That's gonna work. Running down the sideline, the back juke worked. Oh, it's, it's a shame we couldn't have got a lot more, but a 66 yard return for Gene Nunez. Now we're almost in field goal range. Taking a shot early. Please, no interceptions. A is wide open. It's Norton. There's the uh, field goal range. The, the crowd here at the mine is going crazy. Not the most efficient game inside the red zone. But we're going to be looking for something as Noel ugh, just barely got those two yards. Depending on how they line up. Yeah, we're going to run this to leave Noel up the middle. Final play of the third quarter, unless we score. And that'll work, but there's a flag. I'm wondering, it's either going to be a clipping or a hold or shame. Well, that's going to back us way up. Let's see if we can get to the line and snap this one before the uh, clock strikes zero. Nope, we're going to go into the fourth. Down three with a second and 15 inside the red zone. Just some impressive plays. How about all those broken tackles? We've got a pick. They had a strip sack, and gosh, G. Nunez is trying to do whatever he can. Hold up those fours, short kings. I know it hasn't worked all that well, but we're going to try the screen to Noel. But I'm also going to be looking at Upshaw. And Noel, he has some blockers in front of him. The juke works, and he stumbles forward. That was fantastic. It's third and short now. Going with the quick slants here on third and two. I don't trust our running game. They're bringing a lot of pressure. We hit Norton right in the hands. Not even contact. He just dropped it. He said he didn't want to have a part in it. This time we will actually bring out the field goal unit and knock that one on through. I feel like they came awfully close to blocking it. We'll take the three points. We got a hold of that one, but it's still going to be returnable. 529 in the game. Our defense has to get something going here. First and 10. Keon Wilcox, nothing doing. They're going to hit Kingsley Manning for a quick 13 yards. It's first down. What can we get going for us? No pressure. Edley just throws it away again. He is playing it really safe today. Second down now. It's going to be a kind of mid-draw. One broken tackle. They've got themselves a third and short gonna have to bring pressure probably well scratch that don't need to bring a whole lot of pressure if they're gonna go five wide just can't let medley scramble for it he's gonna take off ferris hits him we'll get the fourth down that's huge last time we used the plump pump block formation Nunez had a really solid return and we might be able to do that again just try to get to the other edge of the field without any penalties and yeah, we'll take a 28-yard return every day. Tie ball game, four minutes to go in the fourth. Just got to take care of the football here and uh, 
Maybe play it safe. Richie Kirk. Oh, I don't know how he didn't get tackled, but we'll take the the big chunky yardage and sliding down to avoid any sort of turnovers. Give this one to Talib up the middle. And there's a good carry. We'll take it. Eight yards. Keeps the clock moving. You know, I'm not against trying to burn some clock here and maybe making this the final possession, especially if we score a touchdown. Play action here on second and two. And Donnie is going to be wide open inside the 20. Depends on where they spot him, but that basically right on the edge of the red zone. Drabs fans on notice right now. We're basically in field goal range. We're going to try to burn some clock here and uh, maybe just end up centering the ball. Wouldn't be surprised if Drabs started taking their timeout soon. Noel's not going to give us an easy shot at the first down. We are going to be able to burn some more clock and I just got to get this field goal. Third and six. There's a minute and 45 in the game. We're going play action here. They're bringing some pressure. I got to scramble. Richie Kirk getting chased down. I got to throw that away. I cannot risk the sack. Oh, I thought maybe I could outrun that defensive end, but it was not worth the risk. And unfortunately for us, we're going to have to try to kick this field goal. It's going to be good. Oh, just barely, really. Man, we were on the edge of field goal range. We'll be up three. But with all their timeouts and a minute and a half to work with, this giraffe squad certainly isn't going to be done yet. They have shown that they could score quick earlier. And gosh, this guy doesn't want to go down. I got to think it's not the end of the world if we give up a field goal and go into overtime, but a big touchdown would be devastating. And I will take that. It's a sack on first down. I'm sure we'll see them in the hurry up as there's a minute and 15 now. It's going to be one long form thing. Two guys still running back. Second and 14. Wasting a lot of time to get this playoff. There's a minute left in the game. They found Garen Vincent for the completion, but they only got a couple yards back, and they're forced to take their first time out. Third and nine, 59 seconds to go. They got five wide, or four wide in a running back, sorry. And we get some pressure, and Huff just dropped it. Oh, that certainly does not look good for the Giraffes here. Fourth and nine. The Giraffes game is on the line on this play. Plenty of time for Medley to throw. He's got the completion, but Huff's got nothing doing. Two timeouts in 50 seconds. I don't think they can stop it. Orbs are going to hang on, it looks like. That is absolutely devastating for the Giraffes. Give it to Tlaib Noel, and he'll uh, do a solid job picking up nine yards there. First down just basically seals the deal as far as I'm concerned. So we'll try to pick up this first, and... Get them to take their final timeout. 42 seconds left on the clock. We can go ahead and just kneel this one out. And that'll spell Dwarves victory. We're going to move to 4-1 and one on the season. And these Dwarves are looking at it. It is seriously impressive. It's a big win. We get the level up. I think we just got it at least. The defense looking good. Richie Kirk, player of the game. The Giraffes unable to stoop down to our level. Well, even though he's our offensive player of the game, Richie Kirk, not a great quarterback rating. 12 of 22, that's just over 50%. 175 yards, one touchdown, one pick. Got sacked once as well. That's not super good. Talib and Richie, they're the only two to carry it. Talib only getting 56 yards on 15 attempts. It's not great. Long and nine basically came at the end. But he did break a tackle, so that's nice. A.J. Norton is going to be our receiving leader for the game. Four receptions for 85 yards, and he had that long one of 27. But he also dropped a pass. Got to work on that. And defensively, no interceptions. We had Jimmy Gross, Brock Ferris, and Devin Marks all with a sack each. That's going to do it. Pretty even game uh, at, at the end of the day. We get 13 more yards than them. And uh, they outrushed us. And we just barely outpassed them. Did just a little bit better on third downs, fourth downs. And uh, didn't really get to spend a whole lot of time in the red zone like we did. 
no turnovers for them. We had two that lost fumble in the interception, but it's the uh, it's the punt return yards, and kick return yards, where we really took it to them. Only one super noticeable upset around the country as Kansas State knocks off a number 17 Oklahoma State. Pretty pretty solid margin of victory for them there as well. It's going to be a few people committing elsewhere in between the weeks, but a lot of recruits ready to visit. I should probably schedule those. Move to 4-1, and one, and we get to play uh, Louisiana Tech next week. They're also 4-1. and one. But the last thing that we're going to do for this episode is put this little point. Uh, first upgrade available for us as Hawk Disco moves to level 2. Put that right into the scouting. Just as a sneak peek, we'll take a look and see that Herb Street again thinks that we're going to win, even though we are outclassed by Louisiana Tech uh, in the statistics for the second week in a row. That's going to do it for this episode, though. Thank you guys so much for sticking around this long to watch it. It means a lot. If you want to be notified when the next episode of The Dwarves pops up on YouTube, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you want. If you want to uh, get your fix of college football in the meantime, we're live pretty often throughout the week over at twitch.tv slash poonmaster69. Regardless, thank you for watching. You guys are the Short Kings. I'm Poonmaster. Wherever you are, have a good night. Have a good morning. We'll see you later. Adios.